iCorrect Edit Lab Pro app is a standalone application version of PictoColor's iCorrect Edit Lab color correction technology. In addition to Edit Lab's color correction tools, Pro app includes file handling and workflow features, including process queue batch processing that enables you to color correct large batches of JPEG and TIFF images incredibly fast. This tutorial will show you how to quickly color correct a batch of images that were shot under the same lighting conditions. After opening Edit Lab Pro, the first step is to add images to the process queue. Select the file folder with the images and then select the images. Click open and we've added about 17 images to the process queue. Now all of these images were taken under the same lighting condition. We'll color correct this first image, but before we start, let's do a quick pass through the color correction tools of Edit Lab Pro. Tab 1 is the color balance tab, where you can quickly perfect the color balance of the images by setting the white balance and removing any color cast. We do that by clicking on something that is neutral. Now the second is the tonal range, where we can precisely control the uh, tonal range of the image by setting the white point, black point, or midpoint. We can do it either manually or uh, automatically with smart color. The third tab is the brightness, contrast, and saturation tab. Now in addition to global changes, we can also independently adjust the shadow and highlight brightness. Now the fourth tab is one of the main features of the Edit Lab Pro technology. It's the Hue Selective Edit where you can perform precise hue selective edits on your images and automatically correct those familiar uh, what we call memory colors like sky blue, foliage green, and skin tones. You can also uh, make black and white and sepia, but we're not going to do that in this particular tutorial. So let's go back to tab one. Click on something that's neutral. His shirt is uh, or gray and the undershirt is white. And we've removed the color cast. We go to the next point, uh, next tab. I'm going to click on Smart Color, where we've automatically grabbed the endpoints. Uh, we can adjust these independently if you'd like, but um, let's stick with Smart Color. You can also adjust the mid-tones. Again, we'll stick with Smart Color. The third tab, uh, Brightness and Contrast, Saturation look pretty good, so I don't think we'll make any adjustments here. Let's go to the fourth tab. I think the main thing we want to do is get the skin tones right. So let's uh, click on uh, an area of skin and then click on the skin tone memory color and that softens it quite nicely. I think that's all we're going to have to do to this image. Now, since we have color corrected this image, we know all the images were taken under the same uh, lighting conditions. We can select all of the images down here with shift key down and then go sync all. Now what we've done is applied the color correction of this first image to all of the other images. We've only done it to the thumbnail. We haven't applied it to the high resolution image. So we can quickly go through now and check each image to see if uh, they're okay. That one looks fine. And if you find any that you think you might need to change a little bit, we can, we can do that. For example, I think her cheeks are just a bit rosy. So let's uh, click on the on the cheek. Let's go to the skin tone, and that actually is pretty good. So we'll go to the next one. I think this young man could benefit from a little, uh, maybe a little brightness uh, overall. So change that. Okay, that one looks good. There we go. Okay. Uh, he's a little rosy as well. So let's uh, get the skin tone on him. I think that's much better. They're all good. Now once we're finished, all we need to do is click Save, or select them all first, I guess. We'll shift key down, we'll select them all, and then click on the Save All button, and the color correction then is applied to the high resolution image. Now you can either keep them in the same folder with a uh, dash ICE suffix, or you can actually direct them to another folder. Uh, that's 
the choice there is set up in your preferences, which we'll talk about in subsequent tutorials. Thank you. This tutorial gave you a brief introduction to the powerful color workflow tools in iCorrect Edit Lab Pro app. There are many more. For more information on how Edit Lab Pro app can help you, go to www.pictocolor.com slash editlabproapp.htm. There you will find additional tutorials, including how to integrate Pro app into an Adobe Lightroom workflow.